Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm gonna show you a 2019 American survival horror film called, Sweetheart. Spoilers ahead. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. The movie begins with a character named Jen, who is washed up on a deserted island. She is panting by the shore as she sees Brad, a man she knows, also washed up nearby when she regains consciousness. Brad's stomach is swelling with a significant piece of coral. Jen yells and tries to call for help, but no one would do so since only the two of them are on the island. Brad's wound is severe and is treated by Jen. Jen left Brad for a moment to look for clean water to disinfect Brad's wound. Jen does all that she can to treat Brad, but the injury causes him to pass away. Jen is in tears after knowing she couldn't save his friend. Did you see it? Brad asks before passing away, and Jen does not know what he's talking about. Brad's life vest has a flare gun on it that Jen removes. She explores the tiny island and discovers items left behind by a family who had been abandoned there previously. In their belongings, Jen discovers a little box of matches and a few bottles inside Coleman, a bag with books and other toys and more. Jen thinks someone has been on the island before, and it's mysterious where the owner of those belongings she found is now. Jen must now learn how to survive on a remote island by herself. She adjusts to her circumstances fast, learning how to fish and construct a shelter to survive. She discovers a lot of dead fish by the shore at night after a storm. In addition, Jen finds a dead shark among them that has suffered extensive side wounds. She then takes advantage of the fish she got. After a while, Jen discovers some belongings of those stranded there before her as she explores the island. She scans the notebook and finds a photo of the owner. Then Jen decides to bury Brad close to the water's edge. Jen makes the most of what she has and builds a fire using one of the matches to cook some of the fish she found on the beach. Jen discovers Brad's grave empty and his body missing the following morning. She finds his dead body dug up and obviously eaten. Jen feels rather frightened by this and believes she must not be alone despite no one else being there on the tiny island. Later, she tries to use a flare pistol to call for assistance, but this causes the monster to become aware of her location. Jen promptly fashions a spear for herself. The next day, Jen discovers some of her belongings floating off the island, including her luggage. As she swims out to get them, she notices a massive hole in the ocean floor not far from the coast. She went back to the shore to clutter the things inside her luggage and see how she could use them. Jen hears a jet go overhead that evening. She attempts to use a flare, but it fails. Jen notices the shape of a monster emerging from the water and making its way onto the sand as the flare approaches the ocean, making noises. She runs and hides as she sees the monster. The monster walks close to the vegetation where Jen is hiding. As she hides, she's trying to hold her breath because the monster might easily sense her whereabouts. It's obvious that this is what took Brad's body. The beast escapes back to the water after failing to locate Jen. The following day, Jen attempts to swim off the island while balancing on her belongings and life jacket, but it is too shaky. She locates a hollow log, sleeps there, and makes it her temporary quarters. The monster attacks the log that night, waking Jen up, but ultimately loses interest and leaves. Jen uses her spear to kill a little shark when the sun emerges again. She dangles it from a tall tree's top while hiding nearby in a hole she built in the sand. Jen passes out. When she awakens, she discovers that something has removed the shark from the tree and presumably eaten it. Another person Jen is familiar with is a body floating on the shore. She fastens the body to the branches of the trees and waits once more. This time, she manages to remain awake long enough to see the monster surface from the water. It is big and can easily reach the body hanging from a tree. It is also undeniably quite powerful. While another plane hovers overhead, Jen cannot attempt to communicate with it via the creature on the shore. It consumes the corpse and swims back to the ocean. Jen is undeniably terrified of this. Being alone on the island is tough for her knowing that she doesn't know how to fight the monster yet at that time. Jen puts together a hammock towards the top of some trees as far inland as possible. She is hoping that the hammock will protect her from the monster. That evening, the beast travels inland late at night. Just when Jen thought the monster wouldn't locate her, it finds the hammock and destroys it. The monster follows Jen as she runs for her life while swimming offshore. Jen uses her spear to stab it as it jumps back onto the shore. Jen is knocked down by the monster, who then approaches her. The beast, however, is startled by a thunderclap and retreats back into the water instead. Jen spots a life raft floating just off the island the next day. Her lover Lucas and Brad's girlfriend Mia, two more people she knows, are on it. They come ashore and embrace. Before telling them about the danger on the island, Jen lets them eat first. 
They think Jen is crazy because of the strange story she just shared. Jen tells Mia that even her deceased boyfriend, Brad, knew she wasn't alone. She even showed a photo of the family that was killed. It slightly caught the eyes of the monster to make them believe that she isn't lying about what she had just told them. However, it's still hard to make Mia believe it. They are urged by Jen to board the raft and leave the island as soon as possible. The other two refuse to leave because they believe Jen is crazy and because they nearly perished while stranded at sea. Lucas gets angry that Mia is not listening to him because he doesn't want to leave at all. It is known that the boat they were all riding in together capsized. Jan and Mia talk about their experiences. While Jen maintains that staying on the island is worse than dying on the raft, Mia disagrees. Jen tries to board the raft herself but is unsuccessful when Lucas and Mia refuse to leave. Mia and Lucas catch Jen, but Jen fights back and asks them to let go of her, but Mia and Lucas won't do so. Jen is taken down by the other two after they catch her in the act. Jen wakes up while being held to a tree at night. She instantly starts rubbing the rope holding her to the trunk in an attempt to fray it and escape. Jennifer keeps trying to convince them that the monster will appear soon. Mia claims that Jen is unreliable due to circumstances before they arrive on the island and that she doesn't think the creature is real. Mia mentions an incident where Jen allegedly lied about being mugged, leading her to distrust Jen's accounts of events. Then Lucas tells them what happened the day their boat crashed. When Lucas tries to speak to Jen alone, the couple fights and brings back all the issues and problems they had in the past. It becomes clear that the other boat passengers were friends of Lucas. He mentions how Jen threatened to end their relationship and had a nasty attitude on the boat. Jen has nowhere to live, no money, and no life without Lucas, yells Lucas. Given everything he does for her, he is furious that she will leave him on the island. Jen wants to be fired and doesn't seem to care about anything else. The monster growls, and Mia screams out of the blue, startling the pair. This startled both of them because they initially thought something had happened to Mia, and they were right. Mia is in trouble because the monster catches her. When Lucas approaches the screaming, he sees the beast grabbing Mia. He uses a torch to try to fight it off, but because the monster is powerful, it just pushes him away. Just in time to watch Mia being dragged into the water by the creature, Jen breaks free of her shackles and sprints to the shore. Lucas notices her distress and rushes to her aid, but it is too late for him to save her. Lucas and Jen are both frightened, finally seeing the monster up close. After seeing the monster, Lucas couldn't believe everything her girlfriend told her was true. The following morning, Jen persuades Lucas to board the raft with her and escape. Using the last match, the couple starts a fire and cooks all of the remaining fish. They prepare the raft and launch it. They paddle hard to get to the middle of the ocean. The monster attacks them after they board the raft. The monster pierces the raft's bottom and takes Jen into the sea despite their flares being fired at it. They finally get a decent look at it, showing that it resembles a shark man, with clawed arms and legs similar to a human but a head and fins like a shark. Jen stabs it with a pocket knife as it drags her towards its hole in the ocean floor, releasing her. When Lucas tries to help, the creature attacks him. It snatches Lucas and takes him into its tunnel as Jen watches and screams helplessly. Jen is by herself again. Jen swims back to the island and stops the fire from extinguishing by discovering the abandoned raft beached on the sand. Jen starts getting ready to attack the monster because she realizes she has no other option. She plans how she will end this horrible situation she's in. She writes her story, scarves spears out of wood, and waits for nightfall. Thinking ahead that if she doesn't survive, someone may read her story, which could serve as a warning for those who want to stay on the island. She constructs numerous spears and lights innumerable fires. She then drafts a letter outlining her stay on the island if she does not make it, adding that although people have never believed her, they must do so now. The monster returns that night. It is surrounded by fire as Jen repeatedly stabs it. She is eventually crushed, losing her breath in the process. Just in time, she awakens and resumes thrashing it with rocks and branches or stabbing it with her knife. The monster causes some damage, but nothing severe. When the creature finally succumbs to its injuries, Jen grabs the chance to impale it with a spear. To have evidence for her story, Jen decapitates the animal. This is the only way people could believe all that happened to her. Despite being successful, Jen is still unable to flee as she remains on the coast. The sole survivor is Jen. The island is set on fire due to their combat, in which she kills the shark man creature. As the movie ends, Jen is waiting to see if she will be saved or not. Otherwise, she will find a way to leave the island. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this to help the channel out. Have a nice day.